This is the Bob Ryan and Jeff Goodman podcast. NBA, some college, a little bit of everything. You know, what can I say? But it wasn't going to happen here with him. I was okay with it because it wasn't about talent, I didn't think. Whoever buys the team. Now, uh, Wick is going to stay on until he's probably 64, 65 and ballparking there. Uh, as the until the sale is complete. Now, if you, I have a lot of thoughts about this, so I'm yeah. going to break it down and tell you how I understand the ownership group. You have Wick Grousebeck, you have Irv Grousebeck, who is a very important part of this equation. Okay. Yep. And um, Steve Paliuka. Then you have the Abbey Group. Shout out to Bobby and Dave Epstein uh, and Eric Swenson. Uh, so you have that group. So those are the four major partners. Then you have all the other guys filling in the blanks, right? But the grouse specs are basically the majority owners because it's father and son. And Wick wanted to buy the team. And, you know, his father's a brilliant businessman. Wick's a smart guy. So the two together started the process. Then they brought in PAGs and they brought in the Abbey Group because I know that the Epsteins were interested in buying and so forth. So, you know, Irv is a self-made billionaire and has taught at, in the Ivy Leagues, he's taught at Stanford. And I have to believe that he and Wick, this, he, this is my opinion, had this strategy that, like, look, and when they talk about the trust and all that, the family, trust, that's real. Okay, that's real stuff, right? And when you're talking about a lot of money. So sure. I think when they also took a page out of Mark Cuban's book, they look at what Cuban did, Yeah. right? Because they said, okay, you know, I could, Wick says I can run the team till I'm in my mid 60s, which is great. I won two championships. Financially, this could become a problem for us because let's face it, Jeff, owning a sports franchise now, you got to be Bill Gates. I mean, you know, so I think it makes complete sense. Um, well, I think that, now, and I think so it makes complete, I think it makes complete sense. Can I push back? And, and sure. I don't know the answer. You may not know the answer to this, but. My qu- he's 63 years old, Wick. He is a fan. He's a fanboy. The- make no mistake, he is a fanboy. No question. I think that's what makes him a good owner. I- agreed. I mean, listen, I think what made him a good owner was was hiring Danny Ainge because well, same thing. He had to do. He-, he had to make the move, but none totally. But again, Danny Ainge was the one who hired Brad Stevens. Correct. Danny Ainge was probably the one. If my guess is, who kind of made the decision that, hey, Brad Stevens will be a good GM, right? right? Like, let's face it, that wasn't Wick. That had to be Danny H telling Wick, hey, listen, sure, this is the right move to make now. Go get a new coach. Put Brad in the GM role. He'll be great. And right. and in turn, I'm going to go to Utah. But a good I'm... owner But a good owner listens to his people. Totally. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. He, he, he made some really good decisions here and honestly didn't micromanage uh, and let Danny and Brad do their thing. My question to you is like, okay, are they doing it now because they feel like like now's the the ceiling for for right now to make all this money? Like you're gonna you're gonna sell right. it, you're gonna make huge money. You're still gonna be involved. You're not gonna be the majority guy, and maybe it it, it just takes, I, I guess, some of the the you know the the things that you have to do off your plate as you get in your mid sixties and you can enjoy life. Like I, I just. I can't comprehend that part of it because they're at the top right now. Why would you sell when you have a chance to win a couple more titles over these next couple of years, Gary, and be like the hero around here and be, you know, revered even more than you're revered right now. I don't Why think, now? I, I, I don't think Wick's age has anything to do with it. I don't think Wick has anything to do with it. And this isn't any disrespect to Wick. I think it's all about Irv Grousebeck. He's 89 years old. Okay. So you think it's his decision? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, and I think, and I don't want to make it sound like Wick is like, you know, daddy's boy and all that, because he's yeah. taking some unfair crap on that. Sure. This deal doesn't go down without Irv. No question. Okay, no question. so Irv, Irv, Irv comes in and Wick, they buy the team. Yeah. Wick has been an amazing owner. I want to be clear. He's been an amazing you owner. Dad, you think dad just said, hey, listen, I'm going to bankroll most of this deal. Yeah. And I'm going to let you run things. I'm a, but I don't, I'm gonna let I don't you run know. Things. Well, see, again, I don't want it. I don't want to make Wick sound like he's Richie Rich because I think Wick, <laughs> you know, I really, I don't want that to happen because he, Wick's pissed at me enough as it is. You know, I mean, listen, it doesn't matter anymore. It, it, doesn't, right? matter, it doesn't but, matter. But but I, I don't want to make it sound like that. 
Look, Irv Grosbeck was one of the one of the founders of cable television. Yeah. He made a gazillion dollars. Okay, so if Wick is born like you and I, right? He doesn't buy the Celtics. Now, what Wick did is Wick put together a terrific ownership group. He put together a terrific management team. He put the right people in place. They could have won three or four championships, right? If Kyrie works out, if Garnett doesn't get hurt. Okay, so there could have been more. So what I'm saying is, if you take a look at what happened, um, uh, uh, oh, God, I just blanked. The richest man in the world. Um, uh, oh God, he, he just, he, at 93... He Warren just, Buffett? Warren, Warren Buffett. Buffett. God, yeah. thank you. Warren Buffett just said 99% of my inheritance is going to go to charity and my kids are going to run the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So that means the kid, the three kids get the 1%, which I'm sure is plenty to live on, right? <laughs> so fine. I think at 89 years old, Irv Grosbeck, you know, the financial guys, they come around, they say, look, we got to make this work. Also, it could be a financial nightmare for the family. Oh, so you think that that may have been here? Here, that's what I think it is. Like, get your finances in order before you go. Right, nine. Let's sell the team. That way, you can. I don't know how many kids does he have. Do you know? No, just Wick. Oh, that's it. Yeah, and I think Wick's got two. So the point is, is that. So why do you have to worry about it? If you only got one kid, why do you have to worry about it? I don't know, but when you put in when when you put in the press release, the trust. And future considerations, Jeff, I don't understand the numbers, yeah. man. I mean, yeah. but when you put in the trust and when you put words like trust and will and family considerations, that has to be part of it. I just, I just think, again, I feel like why couldn't Wick have said to his dad, hey, listen, give me two more years here. We can win two more titles. Let me enjoy this as the, you I, know. I, you know, I don't right? know. I, why I now? Think, why now instead of when the window starts to close which i'm not sure it'll even close in two years well, I, think I, think, team... I, I think right now they probably look at it as a business decision and they sure. say the, the 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 price of the team will never be higher but it will it will yeah, they won a champ- higher well that's what they say but they've won a championship they're coming off a championship they have young players and yes. wick gets to run it until 2028 even if you even if it doesn't again now again i think he'll be involved just like Mark Cuban's involved after, you know, selling 73% right. of, of the maps. Like, it's not like Mark Cuban's not going to be sitting behind the bench still. He's still going to be sitting behind the bench and have a, a you know, a say and, and, and still own a portion of the team. Uh, but it's different. It's different when you are the guy. Wick has been the guy for a, a long time here. And I just don't understand why you would give it up now as opposed to waiting a couple more years again. Dad is 89. So you don't think dad is enjoying this too? I think dad is driven by the numbers. And I think the numbers tell them to sell now. Now, that's what I think. And again, that is no disrespect to Wick. Because what you're saying is correct. I think Wick loves being the owner. I think Wick loves... I think that's why he's a great owner. Look, if you're going to own a team... If you're going to own a team, to me... You got to be like Cuban. You got to be like Robert Kraft. For a while, John Henry was all in. Now, who knows? You got to be all no, in. No, no. Now we know. Not who knows. Now yeah, we yeah, know. Now we know. I mean, but but you, to me, you want to be all in. You want to win. You know, and and even if you're silent and you're in the backgrounds, it's all about. I mean, like, hey, Wick said it. The Red Sox are cutting back, and we said no. We're going forward. Now, we do know that they're going forward, but somebody else is going to have to pay the bill. Game Time is the authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to the first pitch. So it's really easy. Just download the Game Time app. Okay, now the, to me right now, the Red Sox are the ticket you want. So go to a Red Sox game. There's nothing better than going to Fenway Park or going to an, a baseball game, period. So what you do is you download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CLNS for $20 off of your first purchase. Again, redeem the code CLNS for $20 off. Terms apply. Create an account and redeem the code CLNS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Here's my idea. I think 
I have the perfect guy uh, to be involved in the next ownership. That's good, and I hope it's not John Henry because he's sniffing. <laughs> Bob Ryan. I think we need to get Bob Ryan involved. It, it might be a, a minority stake. You know, <laughs> I think he's saved his 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 shekels over the years. I think Bob Ryan might have like under his bed millions of dollars from all his around the horn uh, appearances, from all his Boston Globe columns. There might be a million, couple million. Hey, I don't know how many million. He hasn't spent he hasn't, a lot more than that. We know that. He hasn't spent it on clothes because it's the <laughs> standard it, it's the standard navy blue blazer, light yeah. blue shirt, yes. slacks, or some t shirt that somebody gave him. <laughs> I think somebody though, whoever buys the Celtics, should just throw Bob Ryan a bone and, and give him like put him on the put him on the list of put owners. Put him on the list. Got put the hundred last. owners. Put him last, but yeah. put Bob Ryan on the list of ownership in the in the ownership group. How cool would that be? Well, the concern right now is whoever buys it, will they have the same emotional investment as the Grouse Specs? No, probably not. Probably, probably not, not because they did. I mean, and and look, Wick deserves, as does Pags and everybody else. But you know, Wick, if you're a fan, you can you you have you should have nothing but praise for Wick Grouse Beck. And look, Wick is an emotional guy. He's been mad at me. He's probably been mad at you. He gets angry with the media. He defends his guys. Yeah. Wick Grouse Beck is everything. They got mad at me. They used to get mad at me, both he and Pagluca, when I would hammer Rondo. I think that oh, was right. Yeah, time. Rondo. Yeah. They were not happy with they me. They were not happy with that. But but you that's what you want in an owner. I mean, Grou I Wick Grouse Beck is everything you want in an owner. Oh, so to sum it up, my feeling, this is a business move driven by Irv and the family. And that, again, that's no disrespect to Wick. That's no. I just think that. And I think that probably one of the, I mean, that's one of the reasons he's sticking around. I mean, he's going to get to enjoy this until sure. 2028. Yes. And I think that what we're looking at is it's very hard for a family to own a sports franchise now. It's just, I mean, what, did you see what the, I mean, we're talking about billions of dollars. Yeah. I mean, he bought it for 360 million and they're going to sell it for 5 billion or something, 6 billion, 7 billion. That's Look insane. at the Crafts have done. They they said Robert Kraft overpaid for the Patriots. Now it's worth 5 billion dollars. So, right. you know, he, unless you're Buffett or unless you're Gates, that's a big nut, man. Even yeah. if you're a part owner. But that's what I think. I I think it's driven by the numbers and I think Irv has a lot to do with it.